There are no drugs to treat COVID-19. Enterprising pharmaceutical companies, though, are using existing drugs to help those seriously affected by the pathogen. Al Jazeera's Rob Reynolds caught up with the chief executive of U.S. drug maker Cytodyne. This drug has been used on ventilated patients with a high degree of success. Rob began by asking Dr. Nader Puhasan about the results of the trials and how far off it was from getting regulatory approval. The Iran DMAP is a humanized monoclonal antibody that was used for the uh, HIV indication for the last 20 years or so. We're about ready to finalize our application for final approval from FDA. Have been used for over 840 patients with zero serious adverse event. When uh, coronavirus hit the world, uh, do our doctors, Dr. Bruce Patterson, expert in the mechanism of action of our product, indicated that we will not be able to be a vaccine, nor we can stop people from getting coronavirus with this product. However, the main reason the patients have mortality and morbidity is because the ARDS, which is caused by coronavirus in lungs, causes death in patients. Uh, and he said that the uh, cytokine storm is what causes ARDS, which is acute respiratory distress syndrome. And he believed that this is the solution. So when we first filed for emergency IND through Dr. Harish Sitham from Montefiore Medical School, Albert Einstein College of Medicine, uh, the, the FDA also was questioning whether this could have any uh, impact. Uh, the first two patients, one of them self-intubated and came aware of, uh, get, came out of the sedition that sedition that he was under and was able to self-extubate. Then we injected nine more patients in that same hospital immediately, and four patients who extubated, two of them got uh, discharged. Then other doctors in South California used it. 11 patient majority got very well, and the patients that got discharged, they were uh, very much happy, so they went to media. They start talking to CBS, uh, I believe, uh, and they said that my life was saved. Then more patients started wanting the product, and we realized that this is really uh, working out very well for everybody. So we asked FDA for a phase two. They immediately gave us a green light for that. We asked for a phase three in a severe population of coronavirus. They also gave us a green light for that. And we are now close to asking the FDA to approve the drug for compassionate use for everybody mm -hmm. who is uh, in severe condition, because our mechanism of action, which, will be, which we will be publishing a paper, hopefully by the end of this week or so, uh, will show that the way to stop this virus is to stop it from killing people through ARDS in the lungs. And we are happy to see some positive results, and we are going to continuously enroll in both of the trials that we have also. So if the FDA uh, gives you final approval, uh, would that also apply to other countries? Would it be uh, good enough for uh, the European Union or, or other countries to go ahead and start using the medication? So each country has their own rules and regulation. United Kingdom has asked us already for the product to be involved in this uh, test that we have. They have indicated that the European uh, Food and Drug Administration is agreeing to allow this product to be used in any clinical trial as long as the FDA in United States agrees to allow the cl clinical trials to go forward and have a green light. We have green light not for phase two, but also for one phase three, a final pivotal trial, we believe. And the other countries also always, they follow the guidelines of FDA in United States and the uh, uh, European uh, Food and Drug Administration. So if both of these are aligned, then the rest of the world would also immediately would allow us to be used uh, for this special uh, problem. Can you give us any update on how the search for a vaccine against uh, the coronavirus might be going? In vaccine, just imagine if we were going to say, okay, we have a product, we believe it has gone through most of the tests, we want to test it now for final tests. Well, you're going to kick at least 2,000 people, give them perhaps the vaccine. Now, if 1,000 of them are in placebo and 1,000 are in a drug, then you're going to have to wait to see who gets exposed to coronavirus and who survives, who doesn't. That process is very lengthy. Uh, 
And that's why the United States media has been correctly indicating that the vaccine, Dr. Fauci has also indicated that will take some time. It takes usually five to 10 years, but in this case, they're cutting through a lot of regulation to make it available, hopefully in one year, if they have something that works. How can we ensure in the future that we don't have a double tiered system where wealthy countries and their residents have access to drugs that fight COVID-19, but uh, people who live in impoverished countries with uh, weak public health infrastructure uh, go without? In the United States, we have Bill Gates Foundation, NIH, National Institute of Health Foundation uh, Reserve uh, Fundings. We have Amfor that has funding, BARDA has funding. So all these uh, funds that could be used to disperse this product without any cost to the third world countries is going to be at work immediately. I have been approached already by a couple of those institutions, and they are saying that your science look very strong, your results look strong. If, we, if it happens that you get approval, which we could happen in the next perhaps six to eight weeks even, if those best case scenario happen, can we be involved to immediately uh, have this product available for third world country? And we said absolutely yes. They asked us for the cost of the product. The cost is very minimum. It's not very large. And it's a, we are able to cover the whole world. We have our manufacturing at Samsung Biologic in South Korea said where they could produce tremendous amount of product. And we have manufacturing in the United States ready to go. Everything said we need the FDA approval and we needed to have some proof of concept. Things are going very well with the patients who have received this product in emergency IMD and reported it, but the trial is double-blinded. We don't know the results for another two or three weeks, and then we will know uh, what, what path we have to take. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it.